Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about the set timeout. Why we go for set timeout in JavaScript means, for example, I want to perform some operation. I want to perform some operation after some time. Okay, I know the time exactly. Wait for some time. Do one operation. Then you can go with the set timeout. Let's start. Let me open a browser inside the browser. Open the new tab. Already it's open. Open console. Okay, here I'm going to write my set timeout, how it's going to work. Say this, my set timeout is the method given by JavaScript web API. It's take multiple arguments, say this, callback is like first argument, milliseconds, milliseconds is like a second argument. This is a timer you can say. The next one is like a, a rest operator is there. Okay, we'll talk about this one later. First, complete these two parts. The first one is like a function. It's like a callback function called by set time out. The next one is like milliseconds. How much time do you want me to wait? So that you can write one callback function. Okay, this is my callback function. Okay, how much time? Just specify the milliseconds. 5,000 milliseconds is nothing but five seconds. So after five seconds, okay, this function will call by set timeout, by set timeout so that wait for some time, wait five milliseconds, do one operation, that operation related code you can write here, my console dot log off, okay, five seconds completed. Like this. Now, if I click on the enter, now see, my set timeout returns me a number. It's like an identity, you can say. Each and every set timeout, okay, each and every set timeout call returns me one ID. Returns me one ID. This is like 16 is my ID for this particular set timeout. Okay, see, after five seconds, if I execute again, see the ID for this set timeout is like 17. After five seconds, only this method got called or not. See this. That means this callback is going to execute after five seconds. This statement will execute or not. Wait for some time, do one operation. Then you can go with the set timeout. What about this ID where exactly we are going to use means? Very simple thing. I will tell you. For example, 10 seconds is there. After 10 seconds, this method is going to call. My set timeout method returns me one ID so that you can hold that one variable. Any method returns anything, you can hold with one variable, right? Yes, I hold it. This ID where exactly we are going to use means after 10 seconds, this particular method is going to execute, right? Okay, meanwhile, I change my decision in my fifth second. Okay, I don't want to execute this five seconds completed. This statement, I don't want to execute. See this. If I click on this one, yeah, after 10 seconds, the statement will execute. After 10 seconds, this statement will execute. See this. After 10 seconds, the statement will execute. Yeah, executed or not. Okay, not five seconds, 10 seconds completed. Meanwhile, I decided like I don't want I don't want to execute this callback. Meanwhile, I want to clear the timeout. Then how I can means you can pass this ID as an argument to clear timeout. See this, clear timeout. You can pass this ID. If I pass like this, see, wait. How much time you want to wait? You can wait, but that statement will not execute. Well, you know, okay, in between 10 milliseconds only, that means 10 seconds only, not 10 milliseconds, 10 seconds only, you clear the timeout or not. That ID we used for that to clear the timeout. Okay, see, 10 seconds already completed, still it's not executed. Okay, the first argument is like a callback and my second argument is like a milliseconds type. Third argument is like a rest operator. Okay, here, if you want to pass some data from this context, from this context, if you want to pass some data to this context, see this, my context is different. This is like a console, console window. Okay, these values. This set timeout function, this function is like inside the set timeout or not. If you want to pass some data, you can pass that data. The data you can take from here, A, B, C, like this. Okay, how many values you are passing? Three values you are passing. So that, see this, debugger. Now come here, come here. After 10 seconds, after 10 seconds, this method is going to execute whatever the data you pass, the data is coming like an argument here. Now say this. Yes. That particular method is going to execute at see my a value is like 10 and my b value is like 20 and my c value is like 30. Like this, how many values you can pass? Any number of values you can pass it so that multiple arguments 
how you can handle it by using the rest operator you can handle it or not so how we can means just you can write like this you can handle yes like this you can now click on this okay if you don't know exactly the variable arguments count then the time you can handle by using the rest operator now see this that particular arguments you can get in the form of array see all the values is coming in the form of array or not most of times we are not using this one but concentrate on this callback and millisecond style okay wait for some time do one operation then you can go with the set that one thanks guys thanks for watching